out to MI6. I need you to track a Humvee through the streets of St. Petersburg. It's the one being chased by a tank. Alright, hey guys, welcome to part 11 of Let's Play GoldenEye Reloaded on the 360. In the last part, oh thank you, thank you very much. In the last, oh thank you, in the last part, wait what did RB do again? Oh it's a turret, okay. In the last part we, oh, I'm trying to talk in the last part. Um, oh god I don't even know, we escaped from the Russians, Natalia got kidnapped. At the end of the part we stole a tank. Okay, cool. And now we're driving a tank, so... Yeah, the one thing that's really interesting about the original GoldenEye is that there was a tank level. Like, there was straight up just a tank level in that game. Which was a weird level because they didn't do that. Like, it was another... Oh god. I'm fine. I'm being shot at a lot, but I am fine. Oh god. But yeah, so there was a tank level, but... I know! God damn it! I don't want to talk over people, but I can't help it. There was a... Oh, I'm going to blow up and die. I'm on fire. I'm a little bit on fire. I just need to hit a checkpoint. That's all I need. That's all I need. But there was a... Yeah, there was a tank level, but of course on the N64 they can program in a tank the same way they could now. I will. Oh God, I'm so going to die. Oh, wow. Oh, God. Building, 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 building. Oh, okay, it's stopped. Yeah, so the way they did it is that they just made it's they seem to have just made like a um, added a tank cannon to your few and then just had it as a weapon. So it it was like not a proper tank level or you got to give it to them. You weren't really controlling a tank. You were just they just took some shortcuts, which is why if you type in the invincibility or the not the invincibility one, the all weapons cheat and then you go for all your weapons, you will find the tank. And it's because of, like, I'm assuming it's because of the way they programmed it. Because they couldn't program you actually controlling a tank in the same way that I'm doing now. It just wouldn't work. So I've got to give it to them, you know. And of course they couldn't recreate... Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, dear. But of course they couldn't recreate that original tank level, because if you go back and play it, that level sucks. Like... It's really nostalgic for me playing that level. I love it. It's the best, but it's like so basic and just so basic playing that tank level. So I do like what they've done here. It's oh, like let's just back. go over the top explosions, and you just get a black tank for some reason. I don't know why the original was green. I don't, I'm not sure why they changed it, but yeah, they were like over the top explosions, which I really like. I think it really works. Cool. Oh god. So, in case you're wondering, it already came up on screen, but this tank controls like a uh, Halo. Like, Golden, the original GoldenEye set a lot of uh, trademarks or set a lot of trends with first person shooters, but some of them were also set by Halo. And I guess the tank thing was, you know, Halo's thing. Although, I'm pretty sure the original Call of Duty games had a. Oh god. Yeah, I'm sure they had tank stuff, I just guess they weren't controlled like this. It doesn't control that well. Why is everyone just chit chatting? I don't like all this chit chatting that's going on. There's a tank chasing someone. Stop nattering away. Or at least scream and be like, oh my god, there's a massive tank rush is being blown up, or St. Petersburg is. Stay on course. I was going to stay on course. Why would I leave? I don't need directions. Oh god. Oh god. See, if he was like, oh my god, the bridge is about to blow up, that would have been handy information. I'm going, why wouldn't I intercept? Shut up! Leave me alone! I'm trying to have fun blowing everything up. But one thing that's weird about these controls, though, is that for the missiles, you get turrets with RB, you get the normal tank shot with um, the right trigger, but to sh... I'm going to... Um, but if you want to shoot your missiles, you have to hold L to lock on, then press RT. Which is really strange. I've never really seen that before. Oh god. I'm so sorry, Russia. Head to your objective marker, I, I'm so sorry. Wait, did he say head to your objective marker? 
Is that implying that the objective marker isn't just an in-game thing? It's actually something that exists in this universe? And yes, I'm trying to distract from the fact that I did get stuck there. Austin Power style. Yeah, take that, you dumb cones. If I'm blowing everything up, I might as well, you know, go all in. Good old Russia. Russia will take it on the chin. But it's so weird, like... One thing that's weird about... Oh, come on, turn left! Left! Oh, you stupid tank. Right, I've got to back it up. There we go. I know tanks aren't meant to be that mobile, but still. You can still catch him. I know. Kaboom. But yeah, it, I would be really upset if there was like, if it was acceptable in films to just blow up London like this. Like Saint Petersburg is a really big city in a thing, and apparently it's perfectly acceptable to just blow it all up because it's a game. Oh, we did it. All right. Well. Let's continue, because that was stupidly short. I remember that level being longer. I mean, I know it's only like a tank level, so it can't be too long, but I remember it being a bit longer than that. But yeah, so in summary, it's okay to blow up Russia. We were in a tank. That guy can shut up. Oh, come on, no, don't do that. And yeah, did, are they really counting that panning shot as like the classic way that Goldeneye used to open the levels? Because as you just saw there, James Bond just like knocked down a train. And then they did the panning shot off the train, because of course now we're playing the train level. So, but then it panned back into his head, but it, that seemed a little forced. <laughs> like, they didn't have to do that, I get it. They didn't pan into the tank, so I don't expect them to pan into this. Oh god, what an ugly looking gun. Uh, anything else? There we go. A P90. That's what we need. Boom. Oh god, what an ugly sight. Oh no, wait. We're not actually going into the train. Hmm. Alright. Wait, why aren't we at the... Hold on. This is going to bug me. We... Okay, we took this tank... There he is, having a lark. So we blew up that train, but now we're going to go enter a different train. So I guess Ermanov wanted to go onto that original train. We then blew it up a little, because that's what we do, and now he's going to go catch a different one. But how did he get so far ahead? We weren't that far behind. We were both there. He was only on foot. I know we're only on foot. Kaboom. That didn't really do much. I know we're only on foot, but he really did get ahead. It's once again another classic video game thing that <laughs> always happens. And this game brings back almost accidentally. Almost like most of these things or these classic video game traditions that are in this game that have been phased out, it, they do seem like accidents, most of them. Like this whole omen of just warping ahead. Oh god, oh god. You could really deal with a sniper rifle. Seems like a level where a sniper would be really useful in. Oh god, there's way, t oh, there's way too many people. Hey, hold on, I've just had a fall. I don't think there are any grenades in this game. I, I don't think there's any. Which maybe is another way of sticking to the original GoldenEye, because I don't think that game had grenades. Grenade launchers, sure, but not grenades. Okay, let's just jump down. Oh god, there's way too many people here. There's way too many. Oh god, a rocket launcher guy. Okay, I think I can take all these guys out. Just gonna take some time. So, yeah, this is a brand new level right here. 
which fits into this game's story, but you know, like because um, it was a depot or deport. I can't quite remember how you meant to pronounce that. I'm gonna say uh, depot, although that sounds American. Deport? No, deport sounds dumb. Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna say depot. But yeah, so they had the original depot level. Which was a pretty cool level. I mean, wasn't the most amazing one, but I still liked it. It was really hard. Like, I remember it being really hard. But maybe that was just because I was young. So I'm assuming this is the replacement for it. But it is a brand new level. Like, we're fighting at a construction site. Where before, in the, other, in the original level, it's just at a train station, pretty much. Or a depot, as it were. Uh, not a traditional train station. So this is a brand new level and uh, yeah, as I said before, because there's a brand new level that means we're just going to be running through shooting at guys, rather than doing some of that stealth action. Which is fine, it's towards the end of the game, I, I get there's going to be a bit more explosions, a bit more uh, excitement. Can I press stuff? Of course I can. Go! I'm so sorry! I did not- oh god! Okay. <laughs> I didn't mean for that to happen, but it happened, so people are dead and on fire. James Bond just spreads fire. Just spreads fire. Like, you know how you have the triangle of fire at school? He could easily be one of them. He deserves to be on that. And if you don't know what I mean by the triangle of fire, then I'm going to sound like a crazy person right now. But you know what? I'm not going to explain it. I don't have to. Where is that grenade? Okay, I thought it was down there, but... Oh god, that's really horrible. Okay, shooting more bad guys. <laughs> more excitement. Oh, it's so exciting. Oh, is this a... That's... Ooh. Get rid of this ugly gun. There we go, blow up more trains. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah! Nobody lived. They're all dead. Can I blow up this train, actually? No, I can't. That's a shame. Although they got this look of the rocket launcher down. Like, they got it down. It looks amazing. And they don't... It, look, it's like the original, but it's not. It's updated and cooler. In a certain way. Huh. Oh. Well, that seems a bit pointless, having to climb all the way back up. All the way up there, just to have to climb all the way down. Oh, boom, boom, boom. Die. Oh, I'm so glad I'm not playing this game on Agent. Because that, I, I think I mentioned it, but that is what I played through the game through originally. I just went to the hardest difficulty straight away. Or the hardest one without um, normal health, with regen health. And if I was doing that for this Let's Play, I would have died many times. Actually, no, yeah, I was going to say. Didn't want to get rid of my pistol. Oh, God. There we go. Oh, God. I'm, I'm running. I'm running. <laughs> I, got, I can't fight these guys. I'm bloody injured. I gotta give it to them though. They really outflanked me there. I had no idea that was going down. Where's he going? I don't know where that guy. I don't know what the guy was doing. He just ran off somewhere. Oh well. At least it's nice to be fighting against AIs that aren't as bad as Bioshock Infinite. Hi oh. <laughs> the AI in this game in that game is really bad. Just headless chickens running around. Oh, well, just lock the door or something. Wait, stop me from getting on board. Why would I want to get on board that train? I blew up half of it. Like, at the front, the front is on fire. Open. There we go. Oh, God. Uh, it wouldn't be James Bond without a train section. It just, it just wouldn't be the same. Now, this one is considerably cut down, if I remember correctly. No... Silly Russian. See, now it's unclear if... I think at this point we're now fighting the Yanis group. I think that's who we're fighting. Oh, God. So many people. Not enough bullets. Well, I do, because this game drops a horrendous amount of bullets, so you never really run out of ammo, which I love. Oh, God. What was that musical cue? Okay, I think we're almost there. Oh god, one of these. Do I have to do it on this door as well, or can I just... Oh, I can. Drop your gun, Mr. Bond. It looks like your little adventure has come to an end. 
What are you going to do with the GoldenEye satellite? I'm afraid that's no concern of yours. You should have taken me up on the counterfeit vodka. I suspect your hangover from this is going to be much more painful. Give me the controller. That was not the plan. Don't give it to her. You know it's a fake, but she doesn't. She's going to kill you either way. Nice try. But that trick only works once. Give me the controller. I thought I was supposed to give it to... <coughs> You thought wrong. Enjoy your death, Mr. Bond. Take care of them. Boom! Boom, boom! Oh, God! Are you alright? Yes. Look out! Oh, you better believe there's stuff we could shoot out on the floor. I mean, it's not quite as classic as the uh, wristwatch, but still, I'm glad it's in here. about a meeting tonight at the statue park I have a contact who can take care of you in town uh, no I, I am coming with you to the statue park no you're not <laughs> do you know how to disarm a golden eye weapon we'll argue about it on the way all right so yeah they really did change that ending a lot I, I don't really care for it, if I have to be honest. It's like, they took out the wristwatch section, which is kind of annoying, and then there's a big twist that I won't spoil that is already happened in the film ages ago, and already happened in the game ages ago. So that section kind of came up as a little limp. Although I guess that's only comparing it to the original, which is a bit unfair, but... Anyway, next time in Let's Play GoldenEye Reloaded on the 360, I can't remember where we go next! I would guess jungle, but I don't. I can't remember. I'm gonna guess jungle. So anyway, I've been honest on 23. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.